Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Daly. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do our math lesson for today. Um, yesterday and the day before we worked on place value. Before we left for this break from school, we were working on comparing numbers. So we're gonna review comparing numbers and counting today, and then we'll do some more with that tomorrow, okay? So I um, made our anchor chart that we had in our classroom. I made a smaller version so that we could fit it in the video. But just to remember about our alligator when we're comparing numbers. So our alligator for our less than sign is going towards our bigger number. So in this example, I have two red cubes on this side, and then I have two, three yellow cubes on this side. So if we put those close together, which one is bigger? Which one has more? Yeah, our yellow blocks. So our alligator friend here, he wants to eat the yellow blocks. So this red number is less than our yellow number, okay? So for our next example, we have four red blocks, and if you can see them, we can count them together. Remember, we count and touch at the same time. One, two, three, and four. So we have four red blocks, and then we have two yellow blocks. One, two. So if I put these up, my alligator, he wants to chomp the bigger number. So the red blocks are greater than or more than my yellow blocks for this one, okay? Now this alligator, he is so confused, he doesn't know which way to open his mouth because we have the same number on both sides. So we have two yellow and two red. And if I put these together, you can see they're exactly the same, right? They're the same size or the same number. So my alligator mouth does not know which way to go. So he has his mouth at an equal sign, okay? So this is what we were working on before we went on break. And Miss Daly is going to pull up your unique program. Um, and we are going to practice our counting and comparing. And then we're gonna decide who has more or less. So let's start with the top. So our friend Emily here, she has some trash bags and it looks like she has two. So we're gonna practice counting by making the same number of trash bags with our blocks. So I'm gonna use green blocks for Emily. So I need you guys to help me count up to two trash bags. Are you ready? Here's one trash bag and two. So our green blocks are for Emily, okay? So Emily has two, and then we have our friend Chris here. And Chris has, what number is this? What number does Chris have? Six, good. So I'm going to use my yellow blocks for Chris, and I want you guys to help me count while I build my number for Chris. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so Emily has two and Chris has six. So if I put these next to each other, who has more? Which color has more blocks? If these were cookies, which one would you want to eat? The green ones or the yellow ones? Yeah, the yellow ones, right? Chris's garbage bags or trash bags are more. So let's look down here at the bottom. Who has more? Well, we just said that the yellow ones that Chris has is more. So I'm going to click on Chris's name. All right, and then the other side said who has less. So if Chris had more with his yellow ones, then who would have less? The other person in our story, Emily, with just two trash bags would have less. So we will click Emily. All right, great job. Let's go to our next problem and see what's happening. So we have our friends, Emily and Chris again. But now, instead of using trash bags, they're going to use plates. So we're gonna use the same colors that we used before. So for Emily, we're using the green blocks. And what's that number next to Emily's name? What number of plates does she have? 
Five, good. The words say Emily cleans five plates. Count five plates. So while Miss Daly is going to put the blocks up and count, I want you to use your finger to touch the plates and count with me. Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. I loved how I could see you guys using your finger to touch and say the number at the same time. Because remember, if we go too fast when we're counting and we don't say it when we touch it, sometimes we skip numbers. All right, so we said that Emily has five and Miss Daly has put five green blocks together for Emily, okay? So our next person in our story is Chris. And this says, Chris cleans three plates. Count three plates. So here's my friend Chris. And what number does he have? Yeah, that's a three. And we were using yellow for Chris. So while Miss Daly is putting the blocks together and counting with you, I want you to use your finger to touch the plates and count. Here we go. One, two, and three. Three block plates for Chris, okay? So we have the green blocks for Emily and we have the yellow blocks for Chris. And I'm going to put them next to each other. So if you are looking at this, and let's pretend these are cookies, you want the most cookies you can get. So which person has more cookies? Do you want the green cookies or the yellow? Yeah, the green color has more blocks. There's more plates or more cookies. So Emily was the one that we used our green for. So let's go down and see the question. It says, who cleans more? So who had more plates? Well, we said that the green of Emily is more. So we're gonna click on Emily's name for more. Beautiful job. Now the next question says, who cleans less? Well, if Emily was more, that means the other person has to be smaller or less. So it can't be Emily. Who is our other person in our story? Yeah, it's Chris. Now we have another choice over here that says the same, but if I look at my blocks that I put together, do these look the same to you? Are they matching? Are they equal height? No, they're not. So same can't be the answer. So we're gonna pick Chris. All right, beautiful job, guys. Kiss your brain. And we are going to go to the next problem. Now, while you guys are helping me count these blocks, if you wanted to, you could pause and find something in your house to count. Like if you had um, some pasta or some toys that you might have a lot of, like you might have your own blocks or you could count forks in your drawer, anything you'd like to practice counting, that's always good. But you can also just keep using your finger and counting the pictures on the screen while Ms. Daly does the blocks, okay? So here is our next problem. We have our friend Emily here and it says, Emily folds seven shirts, count seven shirts. So. After reading my problem, I'm gonna look at my number, and here's my number. What number is that, boys and girls? What number does Emily have? Yeah, she has a seven. So remember, Emily is my green. I'm using green for Emily. So I'm going to count out seven blocks, and while I'm counting, you are either going to be touching and counting your things that you got at home, or you can touch and count the pictures on the screen of the t-shirts, okay? Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So my friend Emily, let me fix these so they don't fall over, sorry. My friend Emily has seven shirts. So she has seven green blocks in her stack, okay? My next friend in my story is Chris, and it says Chris folds eight shirts. Count eight shirts. So let's look at our number. We have what number here, boys and girls? 
Yes, that's the number eight. So you are going to at home either practice counting the objects that you got or use your finger to touch and count the shirts while Miss Daly uses the yellow blocks for Chris. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, my block on the bottom is gonna stick very well. There we go. Okay, so I have eight yellow blocks for my friend Chris, okay? So if I put these two together, I wanna make sure I line up the bottom. Can you see who has more? I'm gonna move it closer so that you can see. Who has more? Which color is higher? Yeah, the yellow color is higher. The yellow one has more t-shirts. Who were we using the yellow for? Yes, we were using the yellow for Chris. So let's look at our question, who folded more t-shirts? And we said the yellow color was more and our yellow color is for our friend Chris. So let's click on Chris's name. Beautiful job. So our next question says who folds less? Well, if Chris was more, then we know our other person in the story had to be less because she has a smaller amount. So our other person in the story is Emily. And remember, we can't pick the answer the same because they're not the same height, right? There's, they're different. One of them is more, okay? All right, beautiful job, guys. Go ahead and kiss your brain. We are going to move on to a new type of problem. So for this problem, I'm going to zoom in so we can see it. We are going to count who has more, just like we were doing before, okay? So we are still going to keep using the yellow for Chris and the green for Emily. Sorry, Miss Daly forgot which color was which. Um, yellow for Chris and green for Emily. Now, we are going to do one person at a time. We're going to make our stack and see who has more and who has less. And after we do who has more and less, we will talk about which sign we should use if we made it into a number sentence, okay? So, make sure I have enough blocks ready for my friends, Chris and Emily. And remember, you could have paused it and gone to get your own objects to count, or you can just use your finger to count the pictures that are on the screen. Either way is good practice for me. Um, just remember when we're counting, we're using our finger and we touch and say the number while we're touching. Make sure you're not just saying the numbers without touching the objects, because then we get a little confused with counting, okay? So, my friend Emily here cleans 15 plates. Are we ready? Emily is the green, so we're going to count to 15 with the green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oh my goodness, my tower is so tall. You can't even see it. I'm gonna have to hold it back a little bit once I make sure my blocks are stuck together. Remember, sometimes Miss Daly has old blocks and sometimes they don't stick very good. All right, so here is my tower of 15 green blocks for Emily. And it is a very tall tower. I have to move it all the way back so you can see it. So I have 15 blocks for Emily, okay? So now we need to count our yellow blocks for Chris. And my words say Chris cleans 12 plates. So let's talk about Chris. Let's count his yellow blocks for 12. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, let's see if I can make that stay together. And here is our tower of blocks for Chris. He is our yellow. We have 12 blocks for Chris. So I need to figure out how to answer my question. Now my question says, who cleans more? Okay, who cleans more? So I'm gonna put my numbers on my whiteboard so I can help myself remember. Um, Emily has 15. So I'm gonna put 15 on this side. Oops. And then Chris has how many? Good, Chris has 12. So uh, Emily has 15 and Chris has 12. And I need to figure out what number goes here in the middle. Or not what number, I'm sorry, what sign goes in the middle. So I'm gonna put a box to put my sign in the middle, okay? So, it's kind of hard to see. So I am going to put my two towers next to each other and I'm gonna try and hold them up so that you can see them very closely without dropping them. Just give me a minute. Okay, so here are my towers. And remember, Emily is green and Chris is yellow, okay? So who has more? Whose tower is longer? You can see that they're both starting at the same spot on this side. Whose tower is longer? Is it the yellow or the green? Yeah, the green is longer. So who had the green? Emily, very good. Emily had 15 plates and her green tower was longer. So if I were to use my chomping alligator mouse to figure out which number is bigger, which way should my alligator go? Which number was more in our problem? Yeah, Emily's number of 15 was more. So I'm going to draw my alligator mouth towards my bigger number, which was 15. And remember, when we draw in our number sentence, we don't need our alligator teeth. That's just for us to remember in our brain that he's an alligator and he's hungry and he wants more cookies to eat than the other people, okay? We did a great job with that one. We said 15 is greater than 12, okay? So we are going to, let me reset myself so we can do the next one. Who has less? So our last question was asking who had less trash bags. This question is asking who has more, let's see, let me mix that up. Our last question asks who had more trash bags. This question is asking who has less. Less is just a fancy word for smaller amount. Who had the smaller number, okay? So let me take apart my tower so we can do it again. And remember, green is for Emily and yellow is for Chris. And as Miss Sale is counting, you should either be using your finger to touch and count the trash bags on the screen, or you can be touching and counting objects that you have at home that you got out. Okay. Uh, I think I have enough. Okay. We will start with Emily, and Emily is our green number. So here we go. One. Two, three, four. Can you feel that one? Five, six, seven, eight. Start sticking them on the box. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right. This is an extra long tower of green blocks. Remember, green is for Emily. These are how many trash bags Emily cleaned up. So now that we have Emily, we need to count and do Chris. Chris has 14 trash bags. So we need to count to the number 14 with our yellow blocks, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and 14. Okay, let me see if I can get this to stay together. So, um, Chris had 14. He has our yellow blocks. He has 14 trash bags. So, our question is who had less trash bags? Remember, less is just a fancy way of saying the smaller number. Who had the smaller number? So, I am going to line up my towers so that they are at the same spot on the end and I want to look and see which one is shorter which one is smaller okay which one is smaller yeah our yellow tower of blocks is smaller and who had the yellow blocks who had the yellow Chris very good Chris had the yellow so we think that he has less great job we want to practice using our um so are greater than, less than, and equal to signs in order to compare our numbers. So Emily had 18 trash bags and Chris had 14. So let's put our numbers in 18 and 14. Okay. 18 and 14, okay? And we need to see which number is smaller. That's what we were talking about with this problem, which number was smaller? So we said that the yellow blocks were shorter and smaller and the yellow blocks were for the number 14. So our alligator doesn't want the small number. He wants more food because he's so hungry. So if 14 is our smaller number, then our alligator mouth wants to be away from that number, okay? So we are going to draw our alligator mouth to the bigger number, 18. And we read this problem, this sentence, as 18 is greater than 14, okay? Great job, there is one more question on this page. And we are going to count out how many forks they have and see who has more or less and our question for this problem says, do they clean the same amount? So we want to know if these two numbers are equal to each other, okay? If our alligator is going to be confused because they're the same and he doesn't know which one he wants. So let me pull my blocks apart really quick. And you guys at home can do the same thing. You can get your objects ready to count, or you can practice with counting the forks on the screen. Um, remember, Emily is going to be our green blocks, and Chris is going to be our yellow blocks. And our question for this one is, are they cleaning the same amount? Are they cleaning the same number of forks up each, okay? So we are going to start with Emily. It says, Emily cleans 11 forks. So we are going to count to 11. And remember, when you're counting, you're using your finger to touch and say the number at the same time. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, and 11. Let me fix my tower. Okay. So here are uh, Emily's 11 forks, her green tower of blocks. Our next sentence says, Chris cleans 11 forks. So we're going to count our yellow for Chris. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Sorry guys, Miss Daly's blocks are very old. <laughs> All right, so here is Chris's blocks of eleven. He has a yellow tower of 11 blocks because he had 11 forks. So I'm going to put my towers next to each other and we want to know if they cleaned the same amount. So if I line these up, are they the same length? Do they look the same height? And my answer is thumbs up if you think yes, thumbs up if you think no. All right, I'm seeing lots of thumbs up. So that's a great job. They are the same. So I'm going to put my yes, they are the same. And then we want to practice writing our number sentence. So we're going to put our numbers in and figure out what goes in the middle. I still didn't put that square in the middle with enough space to write. Okay, so my number for Emily that goes on this side is 11. And my number for Chris that goes on this side is 11. And we said that this was the same. So when they are the same, that's kind of hard to see, sorry. Tomorrow I'll pick a different whiteboard marker to write with so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, if they are 11 and 11 and they are the same, which alligator mouth do I need? Which one should I use? Should I use less than, greater than, or equal to? If you think it should be less than, I want you to put up one finger. If you think it should be greater than, I want you to put up two fingers. And if you think it should be equal to, I want you to put up three fingers. Let me see. Hmm. I'm seeing lots of three fingers, so you guys are right. If they're the same, the alligator is so confused, he doesn't know how to open his mouth, which way, and so he ends up making an equal sign. So we're gonna put equal, in the middle because they are the same number. They are equal, okay? You guys did a great job with counting and comparing numbers today. Um, this is on your accounts at home. Tomorrow we will start with reviewing um, what we did today and then we'll practice some more counting and using our comparing number signs tomorrow, okay? Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the lessons, I will keep posting them. See you tomorrow. Bye.